Hey there everyone, Aish here, back again with another video and yes, we are on to a new studio setup and I hope that this is gonna bump up the quality on the videos as well as on the audio as well. Still, we are running on the test, but regardless of that, let's go ahead and talk about the Android's fresh look. So I hope many of you are already aware that recently Google's Android product was rebranded and there is a lot more that we can talk on this rebranding. First and foremost, how does the Google's new Android logo looks like? So you will notice some of the subtleties in the logo now. Instead of the entire Android bot body, we can see that it's just the head now. The color scheme has improved quite a lot. Previously it was a little bit of the greenish now. A a pinch of salt of, uh, of the blue shade is now included in that. Uh, to be honest, it's looking much more awesome now. And we can also see some of the improvements in the fonts as well. To be honest, I was never a big fan of the default Android font. I'm still not. I always like to customize that. I'm onto a more of the font side, which is like more of a Avenir Next or a little bit like that. A little bit Sharpie things that is what my personal choice is. But there are some important questions that might be boggling you and let's go ahead and answer them. So first and foremost, the question is why there was a need of this rebranding. Now, rebranding is something which happens quite more often in the companies on some special events like they have completed the 10 years or maybe entire things in the industry are changing around and we need a fresh look, fresh environment for the entire developer team, a lot of reasons. A lot of companies go through with this uh, process, uh, especially in case you notice the, the tech giant in the, the telecom sector giant in India Airtel recently went through a massive rebranding in itself. Bank do that all the time. And so is the time now for the Google. But I'm pretty happy with this rebranding process because obviously it's always hard to guess and find up the new desert names as well, which uh, I was never a fan of that. And of course, choosing the alphabets was never a good idea, especially when every single year you have to release a product. Now, although there are no significant much of the changes in every new year in the Android product itself, but still just for the sake of launching a product, they are launching it every single place. So I would like to give my two cents here. And obviously it Google is not going to listen to me, but of course I still would like to put my things. It is not at all compulsory that every single year you launch out a product which is not reaching to the mass audience and you are not also being able to incorporate so much of the changes. So it would be better for everybody that we don't rush through the process of just launching a new version. Instead, we just wait for polishing up and packing up more things and launch a new version maybe every alternate years. So one of the major reasons for the rebranding is uh, changing up the color scheme of the Android as well. We can notice from all the videos that color scheme was the main and mainly entire focus of changing this thing. And obviously it makes sense because when the, lo when the logo of the Android was designed, it was way back. At that time of the time, uh, things were not really that much great. The screens were not that amazing. What they are right now on the mobile phones, on the desktops, computers, laptop, whatever that is, the screens are much more better as compared to almost 10 years ago. At that time, that green looked amazing, but now it doesn't really look that much great. And of course, with the variety of the different color shades in the background, it doesn't really suit much. Already people were just adjusting their Android logo according to whatever they like. So Google thought, hey, why not us? Let's just go ahead and do that. Now, one well, of the big question that comes up here is what is going to be the impact of this design or the logo change on developers as well as in the designers. Now, for the developers, as of now, there is no big change, but I do have some speculations here. Now, you can notice that another Google product, Flutter, in that product, you can notice some of the design changes as well. Now, the apps looks much more amazing just right out of the box. While comparing on the other side in the Android Studio, the default app doesn't really look that much great. And also notice some of the color schemes that are being used in the Flutter itself. So they are now promoting more shadows instead of these material design. Surely material design is still the heart of the Flutter as well. But we have all seen the trends being changed from the shadows to the flat design to the material design. And now again, shadows are coming back. In fact, the color shadows are also coming back. So as a developer's point of view, right now there is not much. But as a designer's point of view, there is a lot that is about to change. First and foremost, 
designers has got a new color palette to work on with, which is always absolutely fun. We have also got a little bit more polished font, which everybody in the design community is appreciating compared to the previous font. They are saying this is much, much better compared to the previous versions of that. So these are not the only changes. We can also, uh, I just, I'm just predicting it, but I'm pretty sure that now, whatever the projects are coming up as a default in the Android studio, they are also gonna see some of the changes. Now, personally, I'm getting super happy because now I don't have to predict the desert names. And to be honest, the numbers are actually a better way of going through with anything. Uh, of course, the alphabets are gonna just get over and it's not really fun. Uh, so from now onwards, you're not gonna see Android P, Q, R, S, T, and what will happen after the Z. So that speculation is completely gone. And now we are on to numbers because, hey, everybody likes to crunch the number. So does Google. Now, in this rebranding, I would like to focus your attention on something known as Maya. Now, I have discussed this concept of Maya in the past as well, but let's also talk about it here as well a little bit. But I'll link the in the description section about my detailed video on the Maya. So Google is a company which always like to play safe. And what they have done here is also playing the safe. Now, if the Android logo would have been changed totally and drastically, People would have criticized this. No matter how good or how amazing designer you bring it on the table, people don't like change and that's the fact. So that's what's gonna happen to the Google as well. But they played it very safe. Maya is a concept which says mostly advanced yet acceptable. And that's exactly what Google has done. Although nobody talks about it on the YouTube that what were the things being taken care of while redesigning and all these stuffs. Uh, but again, these things are talked on the table in the big companies. Whenever there is a rebranding going on, I have uh, personally met with a couple of experts in the couple of conferences that are super amazingly expert in the rebranding stuff and how to design companies logo and all those stuff. So during these talks, they said uh, not just the Maya, there are a lot of concepts that are taken care of while redesigning any brand. Because uh, we have to take care mostly about how to take care of the criticism that is about to come. The moment you change anything, criticism is going to come. One of the safe way to play in such things is Maya. Mostly advanced, yet acceptable. Google did the same. They kept the color of the green, so everybody likes that. They just added a pinch of the blue in that, so that everybody loves it with the modern design, yet keeping it at the same place. Similarly, onto the Google logo as well. They kept the entire logo, but they just chopped off the body and now it's just the head. So everybody just looks at a very familiar thing that they are already familiar to and they just love it. So Google is known for playing safe and here also they have played absolutely safe. Now, I would like to ask you a question as well. Did you like the Google's new logo and especially the font? Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts. If you like the Google's new logo and the font, post down the comment section, love for Android. If you didn't like it, just post down the comment section, less love for the Android. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are posting a lot of videos on variety of subjects. So if you are a programmer or love or have an interest in the programming, this is the channel you should definitely hit that subscribe button. So that's it for this video. These were my couple of thoughts on the Google's new logo and the design as well. I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video. Till then, keep hitting that like button and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB who we running with. Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah. State your name.